Wonder. You know, if you looked at that AQI, the air quality index this morning, I mean, we, we buried the needle. We were hazardous, not very unhealthy or unhealthy. It was bad. And this is just showing another view. This is a time lapse in Ephrata and conditions. Certainly we can see a little bit more off into the distance. It's still here and it just seems kind of gloomy outside too, doesn't it? Now there's an added cloud cover, which I want to show you. So it's not just the smoke, but it's smoke and cloud cover that's keeping us cool. We go to Lebanon Valley College and we see the same thing, Milton Hershey School. And this will be the first time, not only am I looking at the sky, but I'm also looking at the ground and it's no longer green. I'm not really seeing much green grass anymore. So that's something else that we have to consider too, that we are now in a moderate drought, according to the drought monitor. Satellite radar to show you that it's also the dense cloud cover that we have over top of the area. So when you add the smoke and the clouds, check out our temperatures. We go to Mifflintown right now. We're only at 67. This is now we're not quite in mid June, but we're only like two weeks away until the official start of summer and we're still in the 60s. Uh, so we, we need some improvement now. Uh, we got to change the wind direction if we want improvement in the sky cover, but also from the smoke. As long as we see this northern breeze, we're pulling more smoke from Canada. We need to change that. That's going to be happening moving into Saturday, especially on Sunday. And there's some of the temperatures too in the lower 70s. So instead of showing the cloud forecast, because there's no rain in the forecast, right? For the most part, we'll explain here in just a moment, but notice what happens tomorrow morning. By the afternoon and evening, we really start to see some improving conditions here. The, yes, there still is some smoke haze in the area. I don't think we're going to totally eliminate it, but I do think that we'll start to see significant improvement late Friday. Also, this is Saturday just to show you that, uh, yeah, we're, we're heading in the right direction here the next two days. So I do believe the worst is now behind us. We're just not out of the woods yet. Uh, notice the temperatures too. Second half of the weekend, that would be the pool day, right? 87. That's more like it. Much warmer. Uh, humidity begins to increase. That sets the stage for at this time, what seems to be your only chance for showers and storms. We get a front to move through. That's going to be Monday evening into Monday night. Hopefully we can get something out of this and hopefully we all can because as we move forward, it's, it's tough to find anything significant. Now, keep in mind there, there could be a stray afternoon shower tomorrow. I do think that is possible. So uh, once then we move into Monday evening, let's see if we can get some more moisture out of that. The extended outlook will show you. Here it comes. This is uh, moving into uh, Monday. That's when we get the front to move through. So this isn't going to be something that sits and provides steady rain. This is just sort of around the storms and we'll mm -hmm. see what we can get. All right. We'll take you. what we can get. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Thanks, Eric. One place in the mid state had a little steam in the air today.